Balance. That's what we all need. What most seek and some argue against. Not just work-life balance. I mean being and doing balance. Balance between making it happen and letting it happen. Some argue you must work hard and take action to achieve anything in life. They are right in a way. Action is needed and hard work does have its place if you wish to succeed in accomplishing things in this world. However, the sacrifice should never be your life, your life quality, your presence, your happiness. Overworking leads to anxieties and stress, which usually lead to poor decision making. Quality work is achieved when you are present, when you love what you do. You can still work hard, but your hard work should come from a state of wanting to do the work, not from having to do it because you have so much on your plate. Each action you perform should be conscious and present. If you have too much on your plate, you are always thinking about another task while performing the current one. Nothing is going to be done to the best of your ability. It is far better to complete one job fully, complete and perfectly, than 100 unfinished and incomplete. In every moment we should ask ourselves, what is really important? What is really important today? Is it necessary I rush out of the house to get to work? Must I be in the office in my head while my kids are talking to me? Unconsciously ignoring them completely? What if I lost my loved ones today? Can I honestly say I was committed and present to those that really matter to me? One of the most powerful principles in maintaining life perspective is to start the day picturing yourself at your own funeral. Ask yourself, if I died today, did I live what truly mattered every day? Did I live how I wanted to live? Or was I, like most, just obsessed with getting things done? Can I do better, starting right now? Picturing yourself at your funeral is powerful because it helps you understand that material things and chasing the big dollars isn't really that important. You can't take money with you. You can't take fancy cars with you. And your loved ones will never care about what you did in the office. They will only care about who you were and how you made them feel. This doesn't mean you go out and quit your job and live in a cave with your family. You can still thrive in business and you can still make huge sums of money. The point here is to always be mindful of what is the most important in your life. There will always be things that need to get done and always things that remain undone. They are not more important than your happiness now. They are not more important than this moment. They are not more important than those you love. Just ask anyone that has lost a loved one suddenly. Don't wait till it's too late to start living. Don't wait till it's too late to understand what's really important in your life. Don't wait till it's too late to be happy. Be lighthearted. Be joyful. Don't take life too seriously. It is meant to be enjoyed no matter what you are doing. For many, life has become a competition of being better or having more than the neighbors. Keeping up with the Joneses is how the majority of the Western world lives. If we have less materially speaking, we feel like less of a human. If we have more, our egos explode. This is not what life is about, people. If you are chasing things, you will never be happy and always be chasing. Then you will die and no one will care because your soul died long ago. There is nothing wrong with money or being extremely wealthy. Money is great when placed in the right hands. There are so many great people on earth who do great things with their wealth. We are talking here about those who are obsessed with money, obsessed with material things and being better than their friends and their neighbors. We're talking about those who measure one's success by one's possessions. If you think money is the most important thing on earth, Try counting your money while holding your breath. Money is not the answer. Living fully now is the answer. Love is the answer. Kindness is the answer. Compassion is the answer. Happiness is the answer.